That's right, it's summertime again. And what better way to start turning up than by turning up the tunes with a waterproof Bluetooth speaker? But how do you even know if it's waterproof? Oops. Sure, it may say your speaker is waterproof on the front of the box, but what you really want to look out for is the IP rating. IP stands for ingress protection. The two numbers following will explain just how much protection. The first is how well it withstands dirt, sand, or dust rated on a scale from 0 to 6. The second is liquids rated from 0 to 9. However, if you see an X instead of a number, that means it has not been tested for that category. Rest assured, all the speakers we're showing off today are at least IPX7, meaning they can be submerged in a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Now that I covered all our bases, here's CNET's favorite waterproof Bluetooth speakers. And if you're interested in the latest pricing, I left them in the description as well as chapters, so feel free to jump around. First up are the micros and compacts. And while they may lack in size, they do not lack in quality when it comes to sound and build. First up is the Tribit Stormbox Micro 2. Sure, the Micro 2 may be tiny, but it sure packs a punch. I thought the sound was dense and clear no matter the genre, and held up well with even the bassiest of songs. It's straightforward when it comes to features, but it does feature an equalizer through the app and Bluetooth 5.3, some things that are surprisingly missing from its more expensive counterparts. Looks-wise, it's nothing to write home about, but I do like the feeling of the soft mesh material. My favorite feature has to be the integrated strap, allowing me to wrap the speaker around anything from a bike handle, to lawn chair, to even a belt loop. Ooh, so fashionable. And while you can find the previous model for around 42 bucks, the Micro 2 sound quality and clarity is noticeably better. Plus the 12 hour battery life over just eight with the Micro 1, I'd say it's worth the extra 18 or so bucks. One of my other favorites in the mini size is the Wonder Boom 2. I thought the mini soda can shape was pretty unappealing at first, but after hanging out for a few hours, I grew to like its cute 360 degree design, allowing you to listen from any direction. It would be perfect for placing it in the center of a beach mat with your friends and family. It offers a fuller sound compared to the Micro 2 with a hefty amount of bass. I really like the outdoor mode feature, allowing the speaker to get immediately louder and clearer with just the push of a button. And feel free to bring it for a dip because it can float. It comes in four colors, including gray and red. And if you have two speakers, you can easily pair them for stereo mode by simply pressing the middle buttons on both. What is a little disappointing, especially at $100, is the lack of an equalizer, something even the cheaper Micro 2 includes. Despite this, I still think it's a great value and worth a look. And he said he's never seen two pretty best friends? What? If you're looking for something slightly bigger, I'd recommend the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus. At just a hair over $100, it is bigger, but it also offers a bigger sound. It offers a stronger bass compared to the Wonder Boom 2, especially with the bass boost turned on, and overall has a clearer sound throughout, especially in the vocal range. For about the same price, it's really a decision between size and sound quality, since the Motion Plus is about two times larger than the Wonder Boom, but I think it sounds better overall. Personally, I think the Motion Plus is a bit bland visually compared to the expressive look and colors of the Wonder Boom 2. But I do like the soft silicone wrapping around the body. It supports the aptX streaming codec, so if you have a compatible Android phone, it can offer higher audio quality from platforms like Apple Music or Tidal. I'd say this is a great poolside speaker at an affordable price. Next up is the Bose SoundLink Flex. It is by far one of the best speakers in this category, delivering fantastic bass and audio quality that you would expect from this long-standing company. Picking out each individual instrument in the mix is consistently effortless, whether it be the separation of the drums and vocals in Shesh Lounge, to the soaring horns and vocal harmonies in Envy by Ogi, or my go-to test song for new speakers, Weird Fishes by Radiohead. No one part in the mix is ever lost. Also what's unique about the Flex is its position IQ feature, which automatically detects the speaker's position and will optimize the audio. So no matter if it's upright, hanging, or lying flat on its back, the audio will consistently sound great. Its exterior is soft to the touch with silicone wrapping, and Bose claims its steel grill won't peel or flake and is resistant to corrosion and UV light. The Flex also features party mode pairing, and I was impressed by its stereo output, 
which allowed me to hear new parts of songs that I've heard hundreds of times before. But let's be honest, while stereo mode is a pretty awesome experience, most people probably won't be buying two flexes. But even without the stereo feature, the speaker's mix stands above the rest in the compact category. Quite simply, the JBL Charge 5 just rocks. From the lows, to the tremble, to the mids, it all sounds spectacular. If you're into hip hop like me, the Charge 5 will be the perfect choice, delivering the best bass in the compact bunch without sacrificing vocal clarity. And if you find the bass to be a little bit too much, you can adjust the EQ easily from the JBL Portable app. The app also features firmware updates, so your speaker is always up to date. The battery life is also really impressive, offering 20 hours of playtime. And also, one of my favorite features of the Charge 5 is the built-in power bank, meaning you can charge your phone directly from the speaker. As someone who's usually the go-to DJ, but also always forgets to charge their phone, this is the perfect feature. Pretty much my only gripe is its bulky design, especially compared to the much sleeker Soundlink Flex. It can sometimes be an awkward fit, especially for smaller bags, but it's also a bit too big and heavy to carry around all day handheld. Now, if you're looking for something a whole lot bigger, I got just the thing. The Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. The winner of CNET's Editor's Choice Award for Best Boombox Speaker, weighing in at about five pounds, this bad boy can float. With dual 3.5 inch woofers and one inch tweeters, this beast delivers up to 80 watts of audio output. I was impressed by how well the Motion Boom Plus stacks up against even larger and more expensive options on the market. And don't worry about having to lug this thing around like your Radio Raheem, because this thing comes with a shoulder strap. It would make for a quick and easy DJ setup too. Just plug your turntables directly into the speakers and forget about worrying about some spilled drink ruining the whole show. And just like the Charge 5, its battery life is around 20 hours and also has a USB charging port. The speaker also features a bass boost, while keeping good clarity in the mids and highs, with minimal distortion at higher volumes. Okay, for this last one, if the micros and the boombox just weren't your thing, and you want something straight out of left field, I bet you've never seen a speaker that looks like a tiny buoy. This speaker is the perfect companion for any pool. It's able to stay afloat on its own, but if you want to be extra safe, you can put in this little floaty. Ooh, so cute, so tiny. Around its waist is a light up ring with different colors and flashing lights. It also comes with a carabiner, so you can hang it pretty much anywhere you want. But probably my favorite part is its twist off bottle opener, perfect for popping open some brews around the pool. And while the sound quality won't blow you away, especially due to its weak bass, the speaker can still get pretty loud. So if you're looking for a speaker that's fun, adaptable, and plays music decently, the sound buoy is easy to recommend. So there you have it. We checked out the smallest, the largest, and the weirdest waterproof speakers around. And remember, if you're interested in any of the products we showed today, feel free to check out the direct links in the description box below. And personally, if I had to choose just one, I'd probably go with the JBL Charge 5. With the sound clarity and the bass all sounding fantastic, but the built-in power bank is perfect for myself. But that's just me. If you had to just choose one, what would you pick? Any favorites that might've missed the list? Do you think my music taste is whack? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in more reviews and news, go like and subscribe CNET for more. Anyways, where's my phone? I gotta, I gotta charge my phone. I gotta call an Uber. That's this whole issue.